So really exciting morning this morning outside the Geek, the Graphene Engineering and Innovation Centre here in Manchester, uh, the home of Graphene, where we're actually seeing the first outdoor pouring of concrete, which is uh, a, a graphene-based concrete, which can reduce the amount of concrete needed by 25 to 30 percent, which from a low carbon, from a net zero perspective, an environmental perspective, could be a real game changer. Construction is one of the current main contributors to all CO2. Concrete is one of the major contributors. So if we can reduce the amount of concrete in our construction, then that'll have a major contribution towards net zero. It's really exciting to see the acceleration of an application like concrete for construction, where graphene can play a real role in supporting sustainability. This slab that we've poured today is the world's first external graphene enhanced concrete slab. There's no reinforcement in it, it's got graphene in it, no construction joints, and it's just uh, it's an example of us deploying the technology once again in the real world using existing hardware and software in the batching plant. Uh, no specialist training required for the personnel, and it just pours like any other concrete. Concretine is a brand new company set up by Nationwide Engineering and it's working in partnership with the University of Manchester and the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre and essentially we're taking graphene technology uh, and creating it into an additive uh, in order to allow the graphene to disperse evenly through the concrete. Wherever you can use concrete, you can use concretine. With concrete uh, accounting for up to 10% of uh, global CO2 pollutions. If we if we can do anything to help reduce the carbon footprint and reduce either the volume of concrete you need and or the amount of steel reinforcement that, that, that you need, then the, the you know the, the impact is really significant. For me personally this has been a great experience because I came to this university and in fact I studied civil engineering uh, just 10 metres to my to my right here. So to be back in the same labs 20 years later uh, developing this world class material has been absolutely wonderful. It's very important that we're based here in Manchester. This is where graphene was found and discovered. Uh, and with the investment here with the Graphene Engineering and Innovation Centre and working in partnership with the University of Manchester, we're absolutely adamant there's nowhere better in the world uh, to lead this research. 